AI, I want to walk you through our new AI artificial intelligence function called EOI, EO Intelligence, uh, which is just releasing now, today, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So let me show you exactly what we're talking about here. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to pick a swim here of mine. Uh, uh, and I'm a rubbish swimmer, so please don't, don't focus on the quality of the data because it is rubbish. What you'll see up here in the top right hand corner is this little blue EOI button. So I'm going to hit that and as I hit that it tells me, it asks me a question. Do I want to analyse this data as a sprinter or as a distance swimmer? Well this is an 800 metre swim for me so I'm going to pop in the distance. And you can see up here it's preparing and then processing so this takes less than a minute, uh, probably around 40 seconds, it just depends on how many people are doing it and the degree of difficulty with the analysis. Uh, and whilst this is processing, just a, a couple of key points. First of all, it's only available on Freestyle as of now. The other strokes will come, but what's really important is that we get Freestyle as advanced as we can and then we can introduce it into the other stroke. So if you're hankering for you know, breast or fly or, or back, uh, I'm sorry, you're just going to need to wait. Right. So as you can see, it's now changed up here. It says it's ready. I can view the report in here if I want or I prefer to download it. So I'm going to click the download button and it's going to go into my downloads as you can see. And then here it is. So I can click on this and open it up and happy days. I have my EOI report. So just before I, I get into this in too much detail, I want to set some expectations. This is only phase one. This is a long road that we're going down, a long journey. And we've taken a great deal of time to get to where we are today because we didn't want this to, to be like a lot of AI interpretation that's out there, which are just pushing rubbish motherhood statements. This is way better than that, but it's got a long way to go. You know, if you're viewing this, you'll know that our system produces a lot of intricate and complex data. And we've created this for that very reason, because the biggest criticism we have is they say, everybody says, wow, the system looks amazing, but I don't know what to do with this data. Well, this is the start of the journey where people can get a deeper understanding of what it all means and then what they should do. So we've got a long way to go and I'm going to step you through where we are today. But as it gets further and further refined, we'll be releasing updates and upgrades. You don't have to do anything. It'll just automatically happen and you'll see... Uh, a huge more, a huge load more that will come in. And the first thing I'll point out is, as you can see, it's downloading in a Word document. So if you're a coach, you're able to go through this, you can edit it and you can save it and then you can send this report to your charges or whatever you want to do. So it's it's very uh, interactive, if you like. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a quick squeeze at some of the things that it's telling me about my swim. Now, I'll just quickly come back to here and give you a couple of observations. I mean, you can see I've got, you know, I over index in power on my right hand, uh, and you can see what I've done with my stroke rate. So let's have a look and see what it has to say. So the first thing it tells us is the swim summary, the number of laps, the distance one, the, the stroke, and some general information how long I took 15 minutes 28. I told you I'm a crap swimmer and I'm coming back from shoulder surgery, so. Don't judge me. Don't judge the system on my inability to swim, please. Uh, my uh, distance per stroke, my average power per stroke, and the amount of work that I do, and my average propulsive percentage, 55%. Now, as a distance swimmer, the goal is to get to 70 to 75. And you can see I'm at 55. I'm not too bad. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Um, but this is mainly because of my shoulder surgery because I was sort of late 60, 67, 68. Uh, before my surgery. Anyway, it's enough about me. Uh, swimming analysis. So we get a snapshot here. It needs attention to enhance your performance as a distance swimmer. I've got good hand drag technique. Woohoo, happy days. Uh, there are significant challenges with lateral force application and power and balance between the arms. 
Double peaks detected in my power output in, indicate inefficient propulsion. Yep. Suggesting room for improvement. Uh, consistent patterns across multiple metrics pointing to specific technical adjustments that can substantially improve your efficiency. Now, okay, so it's saying on I am consistent, which is the first key thing that we look for because when we want to analyse your data, we need to know if you have a pattern and if you consistently display that pattern because if every stroke is different and every stroke is all over the place, then that obviously creates issues when we're trying to help you out as to what you should do. Then you can see we've got some insights into three of the charts, three critical charts of power versus time, stroke rate and power, and the force field, you know, excessive lateral forces, vertical forces with room for improvement, and the power imbalance again, you know, anywhere from 10 to 40% difference between my right and my left hand. Then it tells us what to work on, and it gives me four things here to work on. And, and I'll just I'll just pause for a second here because this is one of the improvements that we do need to make. Like we all know you can only change one thing at a time. And the whole point of this system is not just to tell you where you are, but we can also tell you where you should aim to get to. And it's then you get to be able to make the changes and see how you can go from here to here. If we're talking just percentages in direction of propulsion, right? So you might be 40% and your goal might be to get to 70%. And so the idea is you make changes and 40 becomes 43, 45 and so on, so on until you can get closer. Now, some people, they only need to change one thing. They're the lucky ones, right? They've got one metric and it's all going down and there's not enough coming propulsive. I'm just going to focus on that and I can get to where I want to go. Other people might have two or three things they need to change. Maybe they've got too much lateral, They've got too much vertical as well as they're pushing up at the back or they've got hand drag as well. That's a little bit of a complication and what it means is we need to start with the first one which I call the low hanging fruit, where's the biggest benefit? So you start with that, you get that right, you rinse and repeat until it's muscle memory, then you move on to the second one. And that's what we need to work on with this system is to be able to identify the prioritisation so that the system doesn't just tell you what to work on, but it then says you should start with this and once you've done this, this and this, then you go on to the next one and so on and so on and so on. So these are some of the things apart from getting deeper insight and deeper knowledge of under and, and understanding of what's going on within the stroke, then we've also got the application. So these are the sorts of things that are coming. So what to work on as you can see and then we've got a little bit about the big picture. And then we go to some drills. And these drills link back to what to work on. So, and, and we're not trying to replace coaches here. This isn't about saying, well, you don't need a coach anymore. Absolutely not. You do need a coach. I mean, our, our job is primarily to tell you what you need to do. The coach's job is to assist you in doing it and particularly to tell you how to do it. These are just tools, right? These videos are tools that can help you if you don't have a coach. But with everybody, we recommend you should be working with a coach if you are serious. And if you've bought the EO Swim Better system, there's no question that you're serious about what you want to do with your swimming. So we've got these video drills that you can then go and watch. Uh, and then it's a question of getting back in the water and having a crack and doing whatever you need to do to, to get your data better. And then finally we finish off with just a snapshot. We've got, you can, as you can see, a snapshot of my whole swim and my power output between hands. Again, that, you know, pretty reasonable imbalance between the left and the right. Um, we get a bit of a snapshot of my, my, uh, my power versus time chart and my force field chart. Now, when it comes to the system, it analyzes all the laps like this, right? It looks at all the laps for your power output. When it does the deeper dive into your force field, it looks at one lap. And it'll look at lap one, unless if you go into your swim, if I go into this swim and if I say, okay, I'm gonna have a look at my force field, but what I want to do is look at lap five, 
Then if I click the EOI button, it'll run the report. The report will look at all of the laps like this, but then it will concentrate on the other data based on the lap that is being viewed at the time. So if you're happy with your first lap being reviewed all the time, not a problem, click the EOI button. If, however, you want to look at, you can want to get data specifically for a lap, then you want to go into that lap in one of the charts and then hit the EOI button. And then you'll get data analysts and analytics, you'll get your EOI report based on that lap. Uh, again, if you want, I could, I could have clicked on this view report and we could look at it and scroll through it on the screen here. Uh, I prefer to download it, have it in my downloads. And you can create a folder on your desktop that you might call EOI, and then you can have that report downloaded to your EOI folder. Uh, the name is a bit of a is a little bit of a pig. If you look at the name on this one, it actually it's our swim ID. So you can see it's FF seven seven A, which is this ID up here. Uh, when you're saving it, you can change it. You can put in there the the date or the the, whatever you like, you can you can change it, uh, the name that it saves under, uh, and um, happy days. Look, and if if there are if there's any feedback, if you want to um, give us feedback, absolutely, we're really we'd love to hear it. We'd love to get it. Uh, I think I don't think we've done it yet. I think we were going to put in the notes. Uh, I think we were going to put something in here. Yeah, we haven't done it yet, but I think the plan is that we'll put. If you go into um, if you go into the notes for the swim, and there's that little flag, if you click on the flag, there will be a, a new function which will come in here, which will be EOI feedback, and you'll be able to click the box and put your comments in there and send us a note, or alternatively, just email it to us at um, supportedeolab.com. Okay, I think I've uh, taken enough of your time. Thanks very much, um, and. Uh, Carry on. Bye-bye.